You know what to say. Mm hmm. I wanna be a. Say doctor. Sugar baby! What? No! Where did you learn? Why would you say that? Sissy told me to say it. <gasps> Elizabeth! It was just a joke. But, but she said that I will make a lot of money. Is that true, Mommy? Uh, I mean, yes, but no. No, you will not be doing that. Hey, look, it's Sugar Baby Girl. I was six, okay? Cut me some slack. Well, I heard Ashley's rich dad is single now. You guys want to hook up? <laughs> <laughs> they probably will. Stay away from my dad, creep. I don't care about your dad, Ashley. People are just spreading rumors about me. Besides, your dad's kind of, um, a jerk. No offense. At least my dad didn't leave me. What did you just say? You heard me. Do you know why you're here? Because I punched Ashley in the face. Yes, but I gotta say, she deserved it. Wait, Principal Richards, are you being for real? Please, call me Steven. Call me Steven. Uh, okay. So, wait, you're not gonna tell my mom? Nah, I won't tell her a thing. That is, as long as you don't tell her about this. Consider it my little gift to you. Why are you giving me this? I saw your future, sweetheart. Sir. Steven. Steven, I was tricked into making that my future. Wait, so you don't want to be a sugar baby? No, thank you. Ah, uh, well, here's my personal number in case you change your mind. Guys, bad news. I think my future's coming true. Wait, where's mom? She's at the store. What is all that? I just found all these unpaid bills. Mom's been going bankrupt paying for my college. And we're gonna lose the house. Wait, what? I have to drop out. But your dream is to become a doctor. Guess that dream's over. No, Lizzie, don't, okay? I can get the money. How? By making my future come true. What is that? This is the phone number to my principal, Principal Richards. Your principal's trying to be your sugar daddy? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds bad, but hypothetically, yes. Hand that over. No, give that to me, okay? This is our only ticket to making sure that you get to become the doctor of your dreams and that we don't lose this house. This is crazy. Look, you're the one that tricked me into getting this future in the first place. I am just trying to put it to some use. I don't like this. Shut up. Hello, this is Steven. Hi, Steven. It's me. Oh, hey, sweetie. Did you change your mind? Uh, yeah, I did. Great, because I wanted to see if you would go somewhere with me. Wait, how much are all the bills? Uh, like around $5,000. Okay, I will do it if you pay me $5,000. Uh, yeah, that works for me. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Oh my god. Girls? I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, bye. Girls, where are you? You have to cover for me while I go on that date. No, you have to. I'm not gonna- There you are. Do you girls want some dinner? Actually, I was gonna go out with a friend tonight. Oh, really? Is that okay? Well, I don't know. Elizabeth, what do you think? Should I let her go? <laughs> it is a school night. Ugh. But I think she'll be fine. Be back no later than 10. Okay, I will. Thanks, Mom. You owe me big time. I don't like this. Relax, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna get the money, say I don't feel good, he'll have to take me home, then I'll never talk to him again. Hi. Hey, beautiful. Got your money right here. I'm excited for tonight. Um, there's only $20 in here. Darn, I brought the wrong envelope. Mind if I go back home? Uh, sure. Just wait right here, I'll be right back. Warning wanted kidnapper on loose. That's him. Signal lost. No, come on, please. This can't be happening. Okay, I'm back. Sorry that took so long. Hey, what's the matter? Why did you lock that door? I didn't lock the door. It probably just got stuck. Here, I got you this. What is that? It's your money. 5k exact. No, I don't want the money anymore. Please, I just want to go home. Relax. Everything's okay. Why is there no signal down here? This house has horrible reception, but I could fix it. Let me see your phone. Wait, no. Well, how about I just fix some of these wires down here, and hey, that should do it. <sighs> Shit, you uh, weren't supposed to see that. Please don't hurt me. Don't worry, you're safe here with me, sweetie. This is your new home now. Oh. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, hi, I need help, I... Hello? Signal lost. No. You really shouldn't have done that. Uh, let me go, why are you doing this? The day you came to my school, I fell in love with you. 
You remind me of my wife. What? Yes, I haven't been the same since she passed. And unfortunately, the last girl I brought here escaped, so I think the police are after me. But this basement's pretty hidden, so I think we'll be safe. Well, I'm actually kind of thirsty, so... Do you think you could get me some water? Of course. Anything for you. I'll be right back. Bria. Elizabeth? How did you- Shh. Mom put a tracker in your phone case. Oh, I knew this guy was bad news. Don't worry, the cops are on their way. What do you think you're doing? Come here. Uh, eat peppers for you, creep. Oh, my eyes. Your principal is now in custody, okay? Don't you ever do anything like that again. I know, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help you save the house. I know, sweetheart. But we are suing that principal. I really hope we win the lawsuit. I think it's safe to say we're gonna win. Big time. <laughs> hmm. Who are your parents? Well, my parents are- Wait, dear. Actually, allow me. bippity boppity boo Daughter of Rapunzel and Flynn. Um, actually, it's Eugene. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. You'll be needing this now. What is that? Dear, this is a high school for good and evil. This is how we track your behavior. Oh. You better get to class. Hi, I'm Ruby, daughter of Snow White. It's nice to meet you, Ruby. I'm Amelia, daughter of Rapunzel. Oh, I'm a big fan of your father. Could you help me hold my books? Of course. Thank you. Hey, so question, who are all those guys over there? Amelia, those are the villain kids. Don't make eye contact. Would your hair happen to be magic, love? Oh, feisty. I'm sorry, love. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> What's the matter? Did you figure out who my father is? Why did my scale move towards evil? Maybe because you have a crush on a villain's son. Why did my scale just move towards evil? Maybe you have a crush on a villain's son. Who are you the son of? Why don't you take a wild guess, love? You're the son of Captain Hook? Indeed. I shouldn't be talking to you. This is Amelia. Oh, hi, I'm Freya, daughter of Kristoff and Anna. You have magic hair, don't you? Don't tell anyone else. Sorry, of course not. I won't. Amelia, your scale. Were you talking to the villain kids? Can you blame her? They are so fine. Freya, this is serious. I heard someone wants to steal her hair. You can't trust the villain kids. Don't talk to them. Okay, I won't. Well, well. If it isn't Rapunzel's daughter. Stop it. You stay away from me and my hair. Take it easy, love. I was just going to ask you to come to the spring ball with me. I'm already going to the ball with someone else. And who might that be? It's, um... It's me. I'm Thomas, son of Sleeping Beauty. I'm the son of Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Really, I didn't think they had a son. Well, obviously, they do. So if you'll excuse us, pirate, we're going to the ball. I'm really glad we met. Me too. Your hair is beautiful. You look just like your mom. Thanks. Is something wrong, Amelia? What's the matter? Well, it's just I thought my scale would move more towards good since I've been hanging out with you for so long. Come here, let me tell you a secret. I'm not actually a prince. <laughs> Let me go, you jerk! Who are you the son of anyways? I'm the son of the villain Hans, and I need you to sing me the song that activates your powers. I should have known by the red hair, and I am not singing you that song. Okay, don't sing and I cut off all your hair. No! <laughs> Why do you need my healing powers? Because Elsa's daughter froze my heart, and only your powers can heal it. I don't have much time, so start singing! Go on, sing. You should know that my hair's magic isn't as strong as my mother's. It doesn't matter now. Say the words, I'm running out of time. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that snow white boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. Make the clock reverse. What the? Step away from the princess. Pirate. Jack. Hello, love. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh. It's called winning, mate. Hey, is that Snow White boxes you have on? Shut up. Oh. Oh. Just wait until my parents find out what you did. I owe you an apology. My scale was not moving towards evil because you were evil. It was moving towards evil because I was judging you based on who your parents were. I'm sorry. It's alright, love. My father, Captain Hook, does have quite the bad reputation. I'm just glad that you're safe. Hey. 
You're bleeding. It's just a scrape. Must have happened on my climb over here. Well, I do have magic hair that heals, so why don't I just sing the song? Well, wait just a minute, love. Because I reckon your lips are going to be a bit busy. Share the same hair or share the same clothes as my soulmate? I didn't spend two years growing this hair out for it to get ruined. We'll share clothes. Let's hope this prince soulmate of mine has some style. Soulmate's clothes on. A prince would never wear this? Is my soulmate some sort of a lumberjack? Or worse, what if he's a peasant? What are you wearing? I hate to inform you of this, mother, but these are my soulmate's clothes. Is your soulmate a peasant? Possibly. Absolutely not. You are forbidden to meet this boy. Yes, mother. I need to go out. I can't be seen in this. Why isn't it coming off? You may not remove his outfit. Great. Mother said never to go anywhere without my crown, but today, I can't let anyone know I'm a princess. I really hope I don't get recognized. Oh shit, I'm so sorry. I swear, I didn't mean to- You have the same outfit as- Me? You're wearing my same clothes, so we must be- Shh, Someone could hear you. I can't have people knowing my soulmate is a peasant. Who do you think you are? Look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Really look at me? Uh, okay. Ow! I am the princess, you idiot! Wait, you are? Yes, and I have a ball to go to tonight, and I am stuck in your dumb clothes. I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'm back, and I need you to wear this. You want me to wear a dress? That's not happening. But you have to. I can only wear what you wear. Please. It's not my fault you picked- Hey, come on, don't cry. <sighs> Alright, fine, princess. I'll do it. Okay, thank you. Soulmates, clothes changing. <gasps> Peasant, it worked. My name is Nick, and I can't zip this up. <laughs> Has anyone seen my daughter? My mom's coming. My mom's coming. Go hide in that alleyway. Oh. Hello, mother. I've been looking for you. How are you wearing that dress? What are you talking about? You can only wear what your soulmate wears. Did you disobey me and speak to him? Mother, I would never directly disobey you. The system just had a glitch, and now it looks like I don't have to wear my soulmate's clothes anymore. Okay, then you better be at the ball tonight, and stand up straight. Of course, mother. She seems nice. Yeah, she's, uh, she's something. Listen, princess, I can barely breathe in this dress. I just need 30 minutes to make an appearance, then I'll tell my mom that I feel sick and I'll be out of there. There's a lot of princes at the ball. I can see that. Since you're forbidden to talk to your soulmate, why don't you talk to one of them, honey? Just because you and dad didn't work out, doesn't mean that me and my soulmate won't. Excuse me? Go to your room. Fine. Perfect timing, actually. What was that? Nothing. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping soulmate's this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. I have to get back to him before he starts ripping this- Soulmate's clothes coming off. Dress. Psst, Nick, you can take this off now, and quickly, because there is a giant hole in the back. Okay, but you realize it's night now. Yeah, and? And I like to sleep shirtless. Okay, well, you can't do that, because that means I would have to sleep without a shirt. <laughs> well, I made a sacrifice for you today, so maybe- Oh! You know what? Just for that comment, you are going to be wearing this robe tonight. Are you serious? Yeah, go change. Hey! <sighs> the things I do for you. Soulmate changing. Much better. How long am I gonna have to keep wearing your clothes? I don't know. As soon as this soulmate thing wears off, I guess. Well, then there's something about me you need to know, princess. There's something about me you need to know. Wait, before you tell me, I just want to say I really appreciate you wearing my clothes for me and I don't care if you're a commoner. I I want to be with you. Princess, the queen has been looking for you. I was just- Enough, you're coming with us. Good morning. Mother, about last night. Don't worry about it, honey. I've taken care of everything. You no longer need to wear your soulmate's clothes. Look. What did you do? Well, since the king is in charge of the system, I made a deal with him for you to marry his son. Well, that's ridiculous, and I'm not agreeing to that. Honey, the deal has already been made. The prince is on his way. What? It had to be done. No. Yes, you certainly won't be marrying your peasant soulmate. I present to you your fiancé. Hello, princess. But I- Thought that I was a peasant? I only dress like that because I don't like to get recognized. I'm sorry. It's alright. I wanted to tell you, but I'm glad to see that you love me for me. And I love you. Ready for the cool school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling- Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't wanna be late. 
Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Is it the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Okay, open for the DNA test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh. Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry, I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh yeah! Let's fly. Come on, let's go. Happy birthday, we got-
I'm gonna talk to her right now. But you still had to say, okay, mom. I did you, baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about like uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really, I could just eat you. Oh no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencils' power? I have to. Which mode activated? There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire.